We're Will and Jen. Last year, we bought our new fifth wheel and now we're traveling around the US. In our last vlog, we drove down to Florida to pick up our RV from service, but we encountered some unexpected delays when we got there. Is it enough to go down the road though? So while we're waiting for them to finish on our rig, we're heading to Universal Orlando and Islands of Adventure and having the most epic theme park day possible. <laughs> yeah. Starbucks. Best stop of the day. Now you're ready. This looks better than like like regular Starbucks like out of Universal. It's like perfectly mixed. Today we are at Universal Studios Orlando and we only have one day to hit Universal and Islands of Adventure which is right next door and we're gonna try to do the best to maximize one day here and have the most epic day possible. We're gonna jump into Islands of Adventure first and um, try to hit some of the good rides first. Okay, the very first ride that we were hitting is the new Jurassic World Velocicoaster, just like the newest ride here at Universal. And it has some of the longest wait times. So we came straight to that first. And I'm really excited. I've like watched this ride on video so many times. GoPro on that because you have to like put all loose items in a locker. Yeah, they make you go through a metal detector. Yeah, but like literally, look at my hair. That was like one of the most, if not the most thrilling ride I've ever been on. Just in terms of like speed and turns and like change of direction so fast. Yeah, like my fatness helped me stay in the seat. Right, I'm not gonna lie, there was a couple of points where I legit felt like I was coming out of the seat. It felt like you needed the sh over the shoulder. If you're not overweight, don't ride the Blosser <laughs> app, it's not for you. Right, you're gonna slide right out. <laughs> no, that was so awesome though. Now I gotta find Will. There he is. Also, Will um, stayed on the bridge here, but he got a good picture of us too. Matt has his arms up completely, and I'm, I'm ready like, to meet I'm Bob like, Baker. <laughs> I'm holding on for dear life. Dad! Hi. Hi. Do you get videos or pictures? Picture. I sent it to you. Oh, yeah, just the picture? But I want a video too. You did? <laughs> oh, God. He got a video. Uh, he just likes to get my blood pressure <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our next ride that we're doing is Hagrid's Magical Creatures, which is a ride that we didn't get to do the last time we were here because um, we didn't realize that you had to, to book a time in the virtual wait line. They're not doing the virtual wait line anymore. Um, so it's just a regular wait and it's one of the longest um, wait times for a ride in the park So I definitely suggest making this one of the first things that you hit when you get in um, We probably could have come here first, but I thought I was gonna be able to get a wait time booked So we're in line now. It's a 120 minute wait. So two hours and it's only 945 So I would definitely suggest making that one of your first stops when you come like so much fun I'm gonna have so much fun I'm sorry Jeff yeah so we did like the seat test before we got on so the way this ride works is it's like Hagrid's motorbike so one person gets to ride the bike part and one person's in the seat and I really wanted to do the bike but because I'm skinnier I'm forced <laughs> to sit in the seat and Matt gets to ride the bike at least you get to ride it at all right well can't Aww. ride I'm sorry Boy, no here's what's frustrating okay so I know I'm mildly obese but it's like it, it's not even about that it's about the leg placement the legs, as well yeah right Stupid. like the way the seat is like you can't extend your legs so it's like hard for the thing to come down i will and say they, they made this one like kind of a little ridiculously small it's like this is america 
Well, it's just like, I wish that at amusement parks they were a little bit more inclusive of like bigger people. Bring out the goose. Bring out the goose. <laughs> Bring out the goose. <laughs> well, we're so Will can do like all the water rides, I think, right? And the rafts, you can do all those. Yeah, I think so. So we're gonna do all those like around lunchtime when it's hotter, and then uh, Will can do all those with us, so that'll be fun. One thing that's really cool about the Hagrid ride is that you pass really cool things while you're in line. So right now we're next to Hogwarts Hut. Well, look here, Phyllis. The boy who lived came to die. I'm here to die. I'm here to you know the the rotten pumpkin up there it reminds me of in prisoner of azkaban because like remember remember hermione travels in time and she throws the pebble at harry's neck oh. to get them to leave before the yeah. guy comes in and when chapter nine page 263. <laughs> Just finished Hagrid's ride, what do you think? Uh, the experience was amplified because I was the motorcycle and I feel really bad because Jen wanted to ride the motorcycle but I was too fat for the other seat. And then they, and so then, but first, what you guys didn't see on camera is Jen sat in the motorcycle and I sat in the other seat. And I'm all like, you know what, I'm all, I'm all sitting in the other seat and worst case scenario, we'll switch. Well, I guess it buzzed red and then they're all like, hey, we gotta, gotta get code, out. We got a code red. And um, I was like, we could just switch because he fits in the motorcycle seat, but they wouldn't let us. Right, right. And so then they they took us out, publicly shamed us, <laughs> made us weigh in like freaking labs, made me weigh in like livestock, and just to see that I could fit in the motorcycle seat. But here's what I will say: the motorcycle seat did make a difference. Oh, I bet it did. And I feel really bad I bet for it Jen. Did. Because then you feel like you're like directing right. and flying it. it. No, but that ride was really cool because you, well first, the first thing that's cool is, well it accelerates really fast and then you get to a point where you go up and it, the track just stops and then you start going backwards and then you go backwards right. into this dark cave and then it like sits and then all of a sudden the whole cart just drops down and then mm. you're going forward again. Mm. So it was cool. It was fun. And you saw some one like scorpion looking creature and the three, the three headed dog from the first movie. So. Oh, was, dog's name was Fluffy. Fluffy. Every true Harry Potter fan knows that. Well, it was a cool watch. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor Willie. Will, can't, Will doesn't get to ride like any rides. All right, we are now at the Three Broomsticks for lunch, which is the big restaurant over on the Hogsmeade side of Harry Potter World. Um, so we just got here, got our food. I got the shepherd's pie. Um, what'd you get, Rich's free chicken? Yep. Matt got chicken tenders. French fries and mac and cheese. And then we also got the spare ribs just for us all to split and try. It hey, really good. If I'm not gonna be able to ride a hacker to ride again, you know. Might as well own it. Oh, and Will also got a butter beer. We tried butter beer last time we came here. Very, very sweet though. Like it's a dessert drink almost. I didn't particularly like it that much, but I don't really like sweets. So I probably won't get one today just because I'm going to waste it. But I'm really happy you got it because I feel like bad not getting a butter beer at Harry Potter World. So Will went to let the dogs out. And um, cause we're staying at an Airbnb and they've been by themselves all morning. So Matt and I just went and did the Incredible Hulk coaster, which was pretty good. The beginning was really cool cause like you speed up and immediately like do a corkscrew as soon as it starts. It did give us a little bit of a headache, 
So, but it was very, definitely a good, definitely one you would want to do if you like the roller coasters. And now I think what we're going to do is leave Islands of Adventure, go over to Universal Orlando and do the um, Rip Ride, Rocket, something like that. Where you actually get to like pick the music that you want. And I don't you listen go to, to that. The creepy Dr. Seuss world again. Matt doesn't like the Dr. Seuss world. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, that's the way. Oh. <laughs> Good job. I wasn't paying attention. No, Dr. Seuss world is creepy. It is. It's for children too. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's the pet test. He really didn't want to. Yeah, it's not working. Here, you do it. Just to make sure. Damn. Approved. <laughs> this attraction may not accommodate guests <laughs> with certain body dimensions. <laughs> maybe, maybe that side. Right. Maybe you like sit down in that dirt, don't you? Nope. Oh. I guess I'm the wrong you know, dimension. You know why that one's hard? Because that goes right across your midsection. Yeah. All right, well, have fun. <laughs> How was it? Single rider line is where it's at. Oh yeah? I waited for five minutes, sat in the front row by myself. What do you mean by yourself? By myself, there's nobody next to me. Why? Because they didn't have a party of three, so they just take, you know, they didn't have another party of two, I guess. So they just take a one -er. Interesting. And, I, and it was so funny because I was gonna be in like the third row and the guy in front of me would like realize where he was getting on. He's like, oh, my wallet's in my pocket. So they had to take him off. So then I got, the, the, then, he kind of screwed over everybody because mm. then he like delayed getting on the ride so all these people like didn't get on that ride oh wow so then i was first and i listened to pump it by black eyed peas well, it's probably that guy is it that guy in the red shirt red polo no oh he just dropped off his wallet <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> but then i listened to pump it by the black eyed peas and it was so good because the song was like timed. Well, what do you mean T tell people what the ride is well like you select your the song that you want to listen to and there's like speakers to the left and right of you what are you doing over here? <laughs> you taking the purse? Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, oh. Careful. you okay? You okay? Here. Huh. There uh, you go. go. You have pretty eyes. You oh. have pretty eyes. So, the only thing is that would give you a headache. It yeah. Oh yeah, one of those. It just hit me when I like <laughs> crouch back down. All right. So next ride we're doing, we're both doing single rider. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. All right, I well, waited for like five minutes and it was supposed to be a 50 minute wait. Well, let's go. Alright. Will's back. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> we missed you. Did you? Yeah. But we did hit a lot of rides. We were very like efficient with our time. Good. Because I think what do we hit? Do I slow you down? Three no, rides. Jen hit a ride that I couldn't ride because I was too fat. Yeah. Now you know how it feels. Right. <laughs> oh like yeah, you do have a lot of belly. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he does have a large belly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're talking per capita. <laughs> so we were waiting to do the water rides till Will got back because we did this last time and they're like the most fun, I think. So now we're back in Islands of Adventure. We only went to Universal and we did the, I did the Rip Ride Rocket roller coaster, I think that's what it's called. And Matt and I did the um, Transformers ride which didn't turn out very good because hey, they forgot to give us 3D glasses. We did the single rider line. And so all of a sudden Wait, they're like- a hack. Tell them yeah, about that. Yeah, so if you're, um, if you come to the parks and you're okay with possibly not riding next to like the people that you're at the park with, you can do the single rider lines on a lot of rides and um, your wait time will be significantly shorter. So when I did the rip ride it, I, it was like a 50 minute wait normally and my wait was like five minutes and I got the whole front row to myself. So um, that's definitely a hack if you're coming and you're willing to like sacrifice sitting next to each other. But yeah, we did the Transformers ride 
and um, we did we were in the single rider line and I guess like they forgot yeah and I guess they forgot to give us our 3d glasses because it's the 3d ride so all of a sudden they're just like single riders so Mac gets taken one place I get taken another place and I get on and then I didn't even realize till the ride was starting they're like all right put on your 3d glasses I'm like oh they don't have any so the whole time I was just sitting there like like being uh, I was being like swung, swung all around with screens everyone's like oh and I'm just like <laughs> And it actually made me sick. It's a very like unfulfilling this. ride. Right, like that, that guy that rides roller coasters and he's just like. Right, that's funny. <laughs> oh, we did this well, the did Hulk. You? Yeah, the Hulk made me sick. That's what Jen said. And I was maxed out on that as well. Yeah. But that one was scary because like the seatbelt barely clipped. Oh, right, oh, we were in the front wheel and like he, and then, he like, got his And then like they're on. all rushing, they're like five. Yeah. Four. And, and I'm that's like, like, I'm like, no, no, that's no. Like, excuse me, my seatbelt's not. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> this time I was smarter and got a poncho. So I really don't feel like. Let's insert clip to the last time I got wet at Universal. Oh, God. Like, that was the equivalent oh, of jumping into my. a pool. <laughs> What'd she say then? Make sure to what? Tuck them in when you sit down. Uh, well, I'm not gonna ride this ride. Why? No, I, my feet are telling me I'll sit in the shade. You sit on the raft. We're going to do the raft first over there. Oh, I all ride on the raft. Well, then come on. What ride is this? This the goose. This the one you get real wet on. No, you, you have, have to go on the goose. I'm, the I'm not paying $13. $13 for, that was our best ride last right, week. Right, it really was. That was our best ride. And I would have bought it. You're so dumb. All day you standing around. Mm -hmm. You're getting on the goose. Yeah, you're getting. Mm -hmm. Daddy didn't hug me yesterday. Aww. So no goose. Okay. Hug me and I'll go with the goose. No thanks. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That is some strong resistance right there. He finally came to his senses and paid thirteen dollars for a poncho. All right. Next up is one of my favorite rides here at Universal. It's called like I don't even know honestly. It's like villages and barges or something. But it's like a raft ride. And um, it's actually one of the more thrilling raft rides I've been on because near the end it has like a really big drop, which I've never had a drop like that on a raft ride. So this and the log ride we're doing next, honestly, like some of my top favorite rides if you don't mind getting wet at the park, but hopefully this poncho is a good strategy. <laughs> Aren't you two so cute? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will's head barely fits through the neck hole. <laughs> Corn Julio. What? Corn Julio. <laughs> In your little hairs, you look like a little bow beef. <laughs> Corn Julio. <laughs> look at Will's hair popping out the front. What? <laughs> your hair popping out the front. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Get wet, Dad? A little. <laughs> to ride on the normal logs but they have a special log for like taller people and it's called the goose 
So to board the goose, you actually have to walk in through the exit. So, so I'm through the handicap entrance. Or the handicap right. entrance. Literally the handicap entrance. So, but you get to skip like the line. So it's kind of a perk. Ah, oh, and you guys said being fat sucked in your face. <laughs> I feel like with this one, it's not even like fat as much as like tall. No, it's tall. Like he, his legs won't extend in the section he's in. <laughs> this one you get soaking wet. So we'll see how the ponchers do with this one. I feel like insiders, like you walk up like, yeah, hey, we're here for the goose. Hey, we're here for the goose. Hey, we're here for the goose. He's like, and he's hey, like, hey, okay, man. What's the password? Goose. Goose. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You took the brunt of the wetness on that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, any great. So now we are heading into the Jurassic Park area. And we're going to try to do the river adventure, which is the one where the T-Rex comes out at the end. We just finished the Jurassic Park River Adventure and the T-Rex didn't even come out at the end. I wonder why. No, they they're... kept yelling at Jen. No, no. They kept yelling at Jen, telling her to put the GoPro away. They literally said, no GoPros. Row one. I four. did not hear that. I so didn't then hear they that. didn't activate the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So everybody that was behind us <laughs> and with us. That, that is not why. Just, apo like, just apologize. Yeah, that is. Matt and I, you ruined it for I mean, you ruined it for all of us. Well, I think we need an apology. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we are exiting the Jurassic Park area and going to um, Harry Potter World, the Hogsmeade area, and we're gonna ride the the um, Forbidden. Oh. One like the in the Hogwarts castle because now it's only a 25 minute wait. So that's another trick, guys. Is if you're coming here. Um, the more popular rides, middle of the day, like early afternoon, it's gonna be like the worst time. So that's like more that's the what time. We no, we didn't go then. Uh, no, I'm saying no. You go and do like the Hulk then. Uh, you don't do the Hogwarts stuff then. So that's another tip is um, if you guys are coming here, I would recommend doing like some of the less popular rides, or even just like taking a break and going and getting lunch in the middle of the day because it's gonna be worth your time just to wait until later in the day like now it is 7 10 and um the ride the wait time's only 25 minutes for this ride and earlier it was like over an hour all right we are now at the hogsmeade train station and we are going to ride the train from here over to the Universal Orlando Park. So if you guys are get a two park pass or a three park pass and you have access to both Islands of Adventure and Universal Orlando, you can get back and forth between the two parks either by walking or you could also take the Hogwarts Express, which if the line isn't too long, it's definitely worth taking the train. Now in the middle of the day, like everything else, this line gets really, really long and it's almost just worth it to walk to the other park. For right now, the wait is 10 minutes. Which surprises me. So we are going to ride the train, but I think we're only gonna ride it like one way, unless right. we really wanna come back because we've essentially done everything in Islands of Adventure today. 
So, um, and actually we haven't done some of the stuff over in the Hogwarts world on the other side. So we're gonna hit some of that and then probably just leave the park from there. We are over at the Universal Orlando side now, and uh, we just came out at the London's King Cross station. And the one funny thing, we're not gonna actually like do it, but if you go up to one of the train attendants on the London uh, King Cross station side, and you ask them where platform nine and three quarters is, they won't know what that is uh, because they're a muggle. But Matt did ask on the wizard side of the train station and they knew exactly what nine and three quarters was so it's just kind of like a fun thing and they wear red vests and wizards. they yeah they were red vests on the wizard side and then they were blue vests here on the muggle side but now that we're over here for the first time today we're actually going to go over to diagon alley which is the harry potter world on this side and um it's actually really cool how you get there and the last time we came was our all of our first time here and we like couldn't even find it because it's hidden so well so i'm gonna show you guys where it is my oh, and I want to go into the telephone. But I apparently, you, you can go on the phone and they say stuff to you. Only if you dial magic. We're about to go in the telephone booth because apparently you can, I don't even know what it is, honestly, I don't remember. But you can like call and they'll tell you some fancy That's things. Cool. Get in well. Okay. Okay, ready? Get in, Daddy. 62442 to call the Ministry of Magic. Call them. What do they have to say? Six. That's slow. Two. Four. Move your hand, move your hand. Four. Oh, yeah. Two. What they it's say? It's ringing, it's ringing. It's ringing, what they say? Nothing yet. <laughs> What's they say? The Ministry of Magic has just been hexed with the levitation spell. Cast a spell on We're sorry for the inconvenience. Was closed until further notice. They wished me a pleasant day and then they hung up on me. All right, so when you get to Universal and you get to the London area, you'll see the um, double decker over there or triple decker, really, or whatever. It's a triple decker. Triple decker. Like my dad used to work on, right? Yeah, my dad worked on double deckers. And then right across, here's the, the King's Cross train station. Oh, and you see this brick wall. And like the first time we came, I literally thought these were bathrooms, but you gotta go around the wall. And then you come back here and it's a whole world. And it's so magical. 